This could be a mock-up of a scene from the Fox Network action series 24, a room full of analysts poring over incoming data. The ultimate goal? Find the bad guys before they can do harm. Retired Marine Colonel Jake Graham, IST professor of practice, leads this security and risk analysis capstone class by making students familiar with the unfamiliar, seeing problems where none are perceived. Uh, it's an analytic problem that lasts 15 weeks. So the, the, the students focus on one set of problems and the problems change from semester to semester. This year, we're taking a completely different uh, type of problem, looking at a lights out scenario, but on a global scale. In his latest scenario, a coronal mass ejection, or CME, has taken place, incapacitating most devices that utilize electricity. This different kind of risk analysis takes students out of the bad guys versus good guys mindset and becomes an exercise in survival. The mindset you have to get into is survival for this scenario. So at first, it's just damage control. Once you've assessed and, and addressed the immediate issues, then you, you look further down the road into uh, survival. And that's when you have to invert that mindset and make the really, really tough decisions. When you're dealing with counterterrorism, you're dealing with a specific group of people, and there's a smaller group of people that's trying to deal with it. Whereas in this scenario, with the, um, the whole county that's trying to live and rebuild themselves together, everyone is involved. So you're thinking about it from a perspective where you're dealing with every person that's out there. Forcing students to think in a form and space where there is no norm is not only preparing the next generation of national security analysts, but also the next generation of people who will have to make a better and safer world. I see my role as a professor of practice to train the next generation of analysts, regardless of the problem that they're analyzing, whether it be uh, terrorism, financial crime, cybersecurity, um, natural disaster, recovery and relief. So really the problem is agnostic to the process. Uh, good critical thinking, good analytical skills can be applied to any type of problem. 